All right, so when we're getting ready to apply an aquatint, uh, it's a very important stage that we have to make sure that we are uh, really carefully paying attention to all the details, because if we don't, this doesn't tend to go well. So you want to make sure that you are being really, really careful. So uh, first thing you want to do when you're going to apply an aquatint to your plate is just you want to make sure that the plate is really, really beautifully degreased. So this plate right here has just been degreased. Um, it's sort of shiny and uh, it looks like a mirror. That's exactly what you want it to be. Just nice and clean, no grease, no spots, no junk on it at all. So then you want to turn on the compressor right here. So you want to make sure you hit that button. It might run for a little while and vibrate. That's fine. That's pretty normal. It'll fill, the tank will fill up, and then when the tank is full, our airbrush should shoot air through it uh, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty aggressively, right? So then the last thing that we want to do to, before we kind of actually spray the aqua tint on is we want to go ahead and uh, flip on the fan for this giant, um, you know, uh, sort of the hood vent thing here. So the fan button is right over here. Just flip it, and you'll hear the fan the motor come on, and it'll suck air this direction through these little slots that are in the back and it'll pull the aqua tint spray towards our plate which is exactly what we want and then i like to take a piece of uh, paper like this and just stick it up there like that kind of holds it in place so you can see the suction on it um, and then i'm ready to basically load up my airbrush and try to spray my um, aqua tint onto the uh, plate so but the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to practice on a piece of paper it's a really good idea to do that and for our aqua tent, we just basically use the hard ground emulsion. This stuff, or the stuff that comes in the other bottle, but it's basically just an acrylic um, acid resistant um, sort of spray. And you could use spray paint if you want to, just spray a light mist on. But remember, the bigger the dots are, the more coarse and kind of grainy our aqua tent is going to be. So we're looking for a really almost invisible aqua tent, really, really tiny dots. But what we want is we want a 50% coverage of those dots. We don't want it to be 10% because then there's too much space between them and it won't hold ink well. We don't want it at 70% because then the dots are too tight together and we don't get a good amount of, um, kind of etching. So we need 50%, that's what we're shooting for. So what you want to do is take your airbrush, make sure it's spraying, and then you load, we load this little, uh, this little um, kind of cup right here in the bottom of our airbrush. So uh, it just kind of goes right there into that little hole. And that's what holds the material that we end up shooting shooting through the, um, through the airbrush. So then the other thing you want to do is you want to adjust your the end of this. And you want it to just be, you don't want it to be cranked all the way down. You want it to be kind of right in between, just so the little point of that needle is barely, barely sticking out of the top of the little hole that's uh, at the top of it. So once we get that all set and ready, then we can pour our um, hard ground in there. And I just, again, you want to always be working over a piece of newsprint or some cardboard or something like that here. And we'll just fill up our little cup. Yeah, about that much with, uh, um, with the acrylic. And now when I go to spray it, you know, you'll barely be able to see it.
Aqua Tint is going to be in good shape when you have the nice dock pattern on there. This is what it looks like when you have too much coming out. It's going to really cover it like spray paint. And when you have it cranked back too far, hardly anything at all is coming out of there. So we're looking for a nice middle kind of toned gray, something like that. Probably is just about perfect. So I'm going to grab my plate now. And one little trick you can do to help you see how you're doing is just take a clean piece of newsprint. Put it up there around your plate, and then uh, just go ahead and apply that aqua tint to it. how much aqua tint you got on there you can always move your plate and kind of look at the edges and you can see this sort of space and uh, the shadow that got left behind but if we look at this now you can see that I've got a nice sort of 50% um, you know gray sort of uh, dot pattern on there and I'll take some photos of this too and post them for you guys and so we have a good sort of 50% pattern uh, you can see what you've done behind it so we know that this thing is pretty much uh, you know well aqua tinted and it's ready to go so again it helps a lot to add some um, India ink into the little just pour pour a bunch of the floor wax or hard ground in and then add just a tiny bit more a squirt or two of your ink and that'll really help you see what you got going on okay so we're all done with our uh, um, aqua tint and we're finished with everything we want to make sure that we put um, what's left in the aqua in this little cup thing back into the um, back in the hard ground container again we're trying not to waste this stuff so you just kind of dump it back in there carefully like this and now we're ready to go ahead and start cleaning the the brush so I'll walk you over to the sink and show you how to do that probably guessed cleaning up our aqua tint is a super important thing to do just like everything else uh, in this class and so it's really important that we don't let this stuff dry we really don't want to let the um, aqua tint uh, hard ground solution dry in the airbrush so we just want to go ahead and fill up this container with some water and squirt it out of there really good right so we want to just go ahead and uh, you know, clear out that container that you can go ahead and just run some water through this so that you get a good amount of um, uh, the stuff, the uh, acrylic out of there. And then we're just going to try and clean this brush really, really well. So the thing that removes the hard ground is either super washing soda solution or, um, or ammonia. So what I like to do to try to get this uh, to clear out is I just like to take a little bit of the ammonia and water like this and just spritz it into the bottom of that uh, um, of the uh, cup here and then I just spray it through the airbrush right here in the sink and just kind of spray it through there. And I know that the ammonia is going to dissolve any of the future floor wax or the hard ground solution that I have left in there. So then I like to, then you have to rinse it really, really well. So you gotta rinse the heck out of this thing. Clear it off. Rinse all of these components. And then we wanna get a really clean toothbrush. Right? So we get a clean one, not one that's oily or greasy or got a bunch of stuff on it. And we spritz this down with some ammonia and water. And we just kind of scrub it. And I'm kind of a Nazi about this. If you guys don't do a good job of cleaning up the airbrush, if stuff gets dried on here and it gets ruined, I start taking points off of everybody's grade in the whole class. So you guys need to make sure you're doing a great job of cleaning up the airbrush. So 
Uh, once we kind of have scrubbed everything down, we don't have any residue left over from our um, uh, hard ground solution that we're spraying through here. Rinse it really, really well. Put our toothbrush back. Then we want to just run lots of water or lots, lots of air through the airbrush to make sure that we clear it out. You can kind of loosen up the needle on the end of this thing and let a lot of air through and kind of work it back and forth to make sure it's not all crusty and nasty. And sometimes this back end kind of comes loose so you got to sort of hold that piece and tighten it up like this. But um, yeah, once you get it all sort of set and ready, then you can uh, dry it off. towel, right? Turn off the fan. So turn off the fan button, which is right over here. Turn off our compressor, which is underneath here. Make sure the, the power is off on that, and then we'll just hang this back up where it goes and put the cup uh, over here right next to it. Everything is sort of in its right place and ready for the next person. If we don't manage this well, if we don't do a good job of taking care of the airbrush and doing the aqua tint um, maintenance and stuff, it's not going to work for the next person. And people get really frustrated. And aqua tint can be really finicky, can be really nitpicky. So we really have to pay attention to the details on this and make sure that you're all doing your jobs of cleaning up. That's usually the place where this goes bad. So make sure that you're, you know, paying attention and doing a good job of taking care of uh, everybody else in the class as well as yourself.